Hello everyone, welcome back to the Celebrity Issue channel. Now we will discuss about the story of the guitar of the legendary, Paul McCartney, which was rediscovered after being stolen more than 50 years. What is the story of the loss and rediscovery of this valuable treasure? Let's check it out. Beatles legend Paul McCartney's stolen guitar found, returned after more than 50 years, incredibly grateful. After being stolen more than 50 years ago, Paul McCartney's first bass guitar, which the renowned musician used during the Beatles' formative years, has been located and given back. After its maker and a husband and wife team of journalists started a hunt for the missing instrument in 2018, which subsequently turned into a crowdsourcing project dubbed the Lost Bass Project, the 81-year-old singer-songwriter was reunited with the left-handed Hofner 500 over 1 violin bass. The Hofner 500 over 1 bass guitar, which McCartney used a lot in the early days of the Beatles, is incredibly personal to him. McCartney's website sent a statement on Wednesday confirming that the instrument has been found and given back to its rightful owner. Paul McCartney's stolen guitar has been found after more than 50 years, which is a significant development in music history. Paul's 1961 Hofner 500 over 1 bass guitar, which was taken in 1972, has been recovered after the introduction of the Lost Bass Project last year. Paul is immensely appreciative of everyone involved and Hofner has confirmed the authenticity of the guitar, the statement said. According to the Associated Press, McCartney originally paid $37 for the guitar in 1961. Today, its estimated value is $12.6 million. When the Beatles were just starting out, McCartney's main instrument during their Hamburg, Germany residencies was the guitar. McCartney reportedly remarked, because I was left-handed, it looked less daft because it was symmetrical, according to the AP. I became involved with that. And as soon as I purchased it, I was smitten. When the legendary band was recording, Let It Be, their final album, in 1969, it was initially thought that the guitar had been stolen. According to Scott Jones, a writer who worked with Hofner CEO Nick was is to locate the missing instrument that helped spark Beatlemania across the planet, McCartney had approached Hofner for assistance in finding it on Friday. The Lost Bass Project was started in 2018, however the research eventually came to a standstill. But in 2022, Jones and his spouse Naomi joined forces with Wuzz's to help increase media coverage of the search and mobilize the public's aid. In less than 48 hours following the relaunch of the Lost Bass Project last fall, the team received 600 emails containing the little gems that led us to where we are today, Jones told the AP. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.